It's filthy, baby. Ain't nobody else. You finally done it. You proved to your friends that the Yamaha Seek Track is not a toy, but a useful tool, and you have finished your first song. Now, what are the ways of actually sharing that song with your friends? Well, for one, you can use the app and make your little visualizer sequence and stuff like that, and then just share that video file on YouTube or on Instagram, or you can go the more semi-professional route and record it into Ableton. Now I know what you're probably thinking. You have like this device that's also portable, also somewhat around the same price, but can really connect into Ableton easily and quickly. So why don't you just get that instead? Well, for one, I haven't joined the Ableton Move Matcha crew yet. I'm still at the Yamaha Seek Track Americano boys over here. Not only that, like <laughs> I bought this before it was even announced. Like I bought this and then literally a week or two later, they announced the move. So with that being said, let's first talk about releasing your music. But I would like to introduce my friend Armius uh, into this conversation, formerly known as Year to Me on different social media platforms. So here's a conversation that I had with him this week. <laughs> what's happening like with the app? app? Is that, I think it's like a voice recorder. It's one, time. only one of the mics that were working as well. Do you have a TikTok account? Yeah, I do. I think it's just here for me. Okay. Y E E E R M I. Drafts, because I was, yeah. I was joking around with this, uh, with the thing. It was like, you're the celebrity you look like. Yeah. It's crazy <laughs> it was. <laughs> Sometimes I'd, I'd be playing with these socials and I feel like a hunk. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, what the fuck? Hey, hey, what's going on here? You know like the really the, famous he went, uh, yeah. streamer? Guy? No, he went on yeah. recently. Yeah, bro. There's a guy who's just like, yo, unk, we got a cypher or something. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, like, yeah. Nah. Look at this one, bro. It's a Diana. I was thinking, I was thinking we could like slowly go into it. Maybe, maybe for the month of December, have like three or four posts. I don't know. You well, know, do yeah, I just it's, maybe? It's tough. Yeah, it's maybe hard. not go on those pages. The thing is, like, you don't need those pages. However, like, they do provide exposure, but you know, there's hurdles that you have to get to. It's not a political. I, it's not a political thing. Yeah, it's, it's, not, political. it's not about um, yeah. you know who. It's not who I am. It could be taken. It could be way. taken in a wrong way. So yeah. Yeah, it's it's tough. I don't like this us versus them thing because that's not what the song was no, for. No, <laughs> the, the genesis it's of this. Like, yeah, the genesis of man. this song was kind of like saying like, oh, like I'm different. My perspective on everything is different. What? Yeah, thanks. It's like this is someone someone else coming. Is 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 is, is, is Obama on his way here? <laughs> it's like a red carpet. I was thinking like you know some funny stuff. You know like even if I wanted to. I think the more you wait the. Um more pricey like the flights will become i mean really bro i could just travel for 24 hours you could but it's a fucking schlep it's a schlep yeah but bro like i don't know however but there's paying for accommodation and food and everything else no that's covered yeah that's good so yeah i go by the name of yermi i got a music video out he uses a self-portrait for sure. Phil here was really helpful in, in putting everything together uh help also from the much Youth museum uh, Dwight Petrovich, um, my boy Mo, also who's assistant director. It was a lot of work that went into it. Yeah, ton of work. Yeah, I think the plan was kind of like we have all this all these ideas, and we'd rather shoot all of this and then just close it here instead of have like this many ideas and then work with that. A lot of sh we shot like the whole day basically. Yeah, it was uh, around like six hours, I would say. Oh, like, I think more. No, more. It was probably like eight or more. Oh, because yeah. the studio, we got yeah, to the, the studio, studio like late. Yeah. We didn't know what it was. <laughs> we were like, we were like, what the fuck is this studio? <laughs> then we walked in, the place was like so like burning. It was, it was a like, it was a great studio. It was though. a great studio. Like yeah. amazing. Uh shout out Malik, one yeah. of one. Yeah. Um I think that yeah, that's the name of it. One of one. Okay, one of one, yeah. Yeah, so uh there was like a the booth there. We didn't use the booth, we just shot what we yeah. needed. And so if you want to check out his music goes by Yermi. It's on all different platforms. Y E R M I. Yeah. And uh, say you heard me really fast. <laughs> you heard me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But uh we're shooting this on a Sunday and you should go listen to his latest song called Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, so I released Sunday. Uh we shot it um 
yeah, we still are in the editing process of that. So the video might come out later. Yeah. Uh, uh, let us know if you like it. And uh, yeah. Peace. Peace. I have my Yamaha Seek Track app open. And I love this app, actually. Even though that there's like a lot of quirks and things that they have to fix. Um, it's a good app. Anyways, I just wanted to mention something. And I thought I was going to solve this problem by getting another um, 3.5 millimeter to quarter inch split uh, cable. But if you have the USB and your phone's out connector in at the same time, you might experience some noise. And I'm sorry if you can hear that in this video as well. Right now, I, I can't really hear, but... I, there are certain times that it becomes really apparent um, so you might want to get a ground noise isolator attachment for your 3.5 millimeter jack um, they sell this online I'm sure they sell it on Amazon but anyways uh, let's get into a song I recently created it's not it doesn't have a name what should we name it let's go into the sound manager let's go and see now we're back into this project. I just want to go over the samples that I used. So let's see. Oh no, sampler. All right, so I have. I'm gonna open up my old uh, Ableton project to show you guys. Um, how I got those samples. So this was the the original song that I just got from Tracklib, and you can't hear it right now. But if I just turn it on, it's, yeah, it's gonna be really loud. So I I just took out like little pieces that I thought sounded good, together. but like this is like an impact noise, you know. So it's like it can be used at the end or at the beginning of a sequence. Uh, I, I like it. I don't know. But you have to just have an ear for this. There's no like method of like how to sample exactly. But you can hear that there's a lot of drums in here. Like this is like a turnaround point. So you see that impact like so. If I really wanted to, I could just take the, the end and then just go um, and you can use that and layer it. Once you've learned how to really use that within the sec track, you know, you'll know what I'm talking about. But anyways, let's let's go over how I actually record into Ableton using the seek track. Uh, I have this track set up, but the thing is with this track, I have a lot of mutes because uh, you know that's how you build a song you bring in, a, in and out different elements at the right times um, like let's say my first track it's like just the sampler track but usually how I set it up in Ableton is that I would have 11 different audio tracks and then the reverb delay you can keep so let's make seven different audio tracks mm, four five six seven eight nine ten all right so these 11 tracks correspond to the 11 tracks on the seek track so uh because i want it to be the same uh i will put number one as sample audio so that's the sampler section uh, this one will be Synth one, and let me just copy that. Synth two, DX kick snare. Clap. All right. So since I have the four I four, I can connect tracks three four. <laughs> If I monitor it, or if I arm this track, so 
However, I think the way that I'm going to use it is that I'm going to go into my settings and then put the input device as a C track. So for this case, you don't need to use the inputs on your device, but let's just also go into the settings and see uh, what's the buffer size and the latency. So I put it to 64 samples right now. There will be like, let's say if you set your MIDI to external, there'll be some like MIDI drifting. It will go like in and out. Uh, but also I find that there was the last time I selected like 128, uh, but it was like five milliseconds of overall latency. And I found that it was, you know, like it was swaying like quite a bit. Let me know what's the best setting I could put for this and that it's not going to really impact because the lower samples you put, the more it impacts the quality of the sound. So I'm just going to keep it at 64 and, you know, have this, uh, let's do a test tone. Let's go into the actual method. Uh, I'm putting this down to 115. Make sure that you're on the same BPM as your track. And so now I'm going to go through every single clip and see which ones are muted, which ones are not. So this one, everything else is muted, but the sample track. So I'm just going to leave it as is afterwards. You see how there's mutes over here, but this part's unmuted. We're going to record everything separately. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click solo. And we're just going to do that to every single track until we get to a point where the sample track is not playing like this one. So this one's muted, right? So I'm just going to leave it as is, you know, for all intents and purposes, I'm just going to record it and then cut it out afterwards. Um, so I'm just going to put solo, 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 solo. Solo, 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 and solo. All right, uh, we'll put the external to the seek track. The track's armed, we'll press record, and then once I press start on the seek track, it'll start recording. Okay, so now we successfully uh, recorded our first track, but I'm just going to go back to the section right over here. So this drum is really playing. So I'm just going to cut that out because we're going to all record it separately. I really scroll in like bar 33 starts here. I play it. It's a bit off, right? So, I mean, I can adjust it. Because then afterwards it's like, like over here, it's, it's swaying like left or right, but it's something I have to just do in post, but anyways, and that will be the synth one track. So let's just make sure we arm it. And now what we have to do is go back to all the tracks and solo, uh, the sample track. So. I know this one's muted, so I'll leave it as is, but first we'll unsolo it and then go into the synth one because we don't know whether synth one uh, has a mute track or not. And that will destroy the purpose of, um, of having it in this sort of order. So we're just going to do that one by one. You muted. All right. So starting from the top, we're external on, we're arming this track, we're doing that, and we're pressing play. Now I'm just going to record all the tracks and then I'll check back with you guys afterwards. We're back in business. All right, so over here we have all of our tracks that are taken off of oh except for this one oh no this one's this one's chill 
but basically I unsoloed all of the track the scenes that need to be unsoloed so if we ever want to play back the song or like just perform it we have arrangements inside here but I want to show what's going on in Ableton so we have all the 11 tracks recorded um, there are some like MIDI drifts however I try to remedy that uh, a little bit but you see how like the kick is like a bit off but anyways um, but because everything is like just a little bit shift to the right then I feel like it's kind of in place but I took out all of the sections that um, played all the instruments at once so now you have something more to work with um, now what I'm gonna do is just take the all of the drum tracks and then group it and this will be drum bus I don't know if we want to put like a compressor or whatever else on here uh, we could do that I recorded all the drums in mono if you can see over here I panned the perks a bit on the hack I put a uh, subtle stereo so it's not just straight in the middle the entire time I'll eventually add some plugins and other audio effects that need to be added when I do my final mix this is basically how I record into Ableton so so yeah let's just hear it from the top <laughs> Still need to work on it but this is what I have so far and yeah I hope you found this video helpful in any way and if you have any suggestions for the future different type of content different machines let me know down in the comment section if you haven't subscribed please subscribe I'll be putting out videos uh, once a week from now on and Without further ado, peace. <laughs>